Hi everyone, in this video, we will discuss how we can reverse a linked list between two positions. So this question is usually asked as a follow up for reverse a linked list. In my previous video, we discussed how we can reverse a linked list. We discussed three methods there, so which were using stack, recursive and iterative method. So I would suggest to first watch the video in which we have reversed the linked list because we'll be using that method to solve this problem. So in this question, we are given a linked list. So we know that A is the head of the linked list and we are given two integers left and right. So let's keep our index. So one based index we are keeping. So left is four, right is seven. So which means we are talking about this part of the linked list. So we have to reverse this part of this entire linked list and we need to provide the output. So the result will be ABC will remain as it is, then DEFG will be reversed. So it will be GFED and then H will be at the end of the list. So the constraint here is that left and right both are greater than one and they are less than the number of nodes. So we're talking only about the valid cases here. So given a linked list and these two integers left and right, we have to reverse the linked list between these two positions. Now let's see how we can solve this. So if we see the output for this list is, so if we check here that ABC remains as such, this H remains as such, and we know how to reverse a linked list. So let's say we reverse this list to GFED. But now the main point is how we link the first part which is before left. So if this is the left, this is the right. So we need to link ABC with the reverse part and the end with the H part. And how to reverse a linked list that we already know from my previous video. So this part is easy. So, so now here, if we look carefully, we need actually four pointers to do this entire operation. We need a pointer to C and to D and one pointer to G and one pointer to H. So why do we need this? So C pointer is needed because we need to connect C to the reverse part. So this is the leftmost part and this is the rightmost part. And let's say we have the reverse part here. So now we need to make a link from C to G. So we need a pointer to C. So this is the first pointer. We need a pointer to G because we need to connect C and G. And then we need to connect D and H. So to solve this, we need basically these four pointers. Once we have these four pointers and we know the logic to reverse the link list, we can solve this. So this we solved in the previous video. So we'll reuse that logic to build this entire list. Now let's have a look at the algorithm. So we are given the head and two integers. So here the integers are four and seven. So four is the left part and seven is the right. So we have to reverse the linked list from left to right. So the first part is that we need to reach left node. So this D is left node. So we can simply start from head and keep traversing until we reach this index. So this part is easy. We can simply reach this node. So here it is D and we need to reach the node before this also. So this C is before left node. So we have these two variables now left node and before left node. And then let's say we have a function reverse which takes a starting node. So starting node is the left node which is D. And then it reverses a count of nodes. So count of nodes in this case is right minus left plus one. So right is seven, left is four plus one. So it will reverse four nodes. So it will provide us G, F, E and D. So this reverse function returns a right node and after right node. So right node is the last node. So this is the right node. And after right node is the node after the right index. So right node is G 
and after write node is h. So this function reverses the list from, from D to G because we are reversing four nodes and then it returns the last node and the after write node. So it returns the pointers to G and H. So once we have that, then we need to connect these nodes. So what we have till now is, so we have A, B, C and C is our before left node. Then we have the reverse for G, F, E, D and the last node which is H. So H is our after right node, G is our right node and D is our left node. So then we check if before left node is not equal to null. So before left node is not null because it is pointing to C. So we connect before left node next to right node. So what we are doing here is before left node is C. So we are connecting C to G. So we are making this connection here. So but a situation could be that this before left node is null. So the situation would be let's say left is 1. If left is 1 which means left node is head. So in that case before left node will be null. So in that case the right node will become head. So this will be the case, let's say the list is A, B, C, D and we have to reverse from 1 to 3. So left is 1, right is 3. So in this case, before left node is null, so we'll come in the else part and now head will be the right node. So right node will point to C, so this will be the head. So this if case is to check when the starting is from the head node. And then what we do is we connect left node next to after right node. So left node is pointing to D and after right node is H. So now we are making this connection. And at the end we return the head. So, so head is pointing to A. So we are returning the entire list which becomes A, B, C, G, F, E, D and H. So the logic is simple. We just need four pointers before the list and after the list and the reverse pointers. So once we have the reverse part of the linked list, we can then simply connect the before part with the reversed and with the after part. So now if we quickly look at this reverse function, so it takes a head. So in this case, we pass the pointer to node D and the count is four which means starting from D, we need to reverse four nodes. So then we have the previous pointer, current and temp. Then this logic is what we saw in the previous video. So we keep two pointers, current and previous, and we keep reversing those links. So this is exactly same which I've shown in the previous video. The only part which is different here is usage of this count variable. So earlier we were reversing the entire link list. Now we just have to reverse these count nodes. So here the count is 4. So we'll just reverse the 4 nodes starting from D. So we are reversing this part of the linked list. So this will give us G, F, E and D. So once we reverse this, this while loop terminates and then we return previous and temp. So previous here will point to G and temp is next of G which is H because we are keeping a backup here. So this reverse function returns here and the values it returns are stored in right node and after right node. So pointed to node G and node H are returned by this reverse function and it reverses the portion from D to G. So once it returns that, then we simply need to connect the other portions. So in this method, we have traversed the linked list only once and we have not used any extra space. Space complexity is order of one and the time complexity can be order of n. So once you understood the algorithm, let's have a look at the implementation. All the source code that I'll be showing is available in my GitHub repository, link of which is available here and as well as in the description. Now let's have a look at the code. So in the main function, I've created this linked list. So starting from A, it goes till H. Then I call this function reverse between in which I pass the head node left value which is 4 and right integer which is 7. So which, which means we want to reverse the linked list from node D to node G. 
So in this function, reverse between, I have some checks that if the list is null or list has only one node or left and right, both are same. In this case, there is no need to do anything. We can simply return the head. Otherwise, I keep two pointers, left node and before left node. So left node is initially at A and before left node is at null. Then I, then I run a for loop to move these pointers to their location. So after this, I call this reverse function. I pass it the left node. So which is this starting node D and I tell it to reverse right minus left plus one nodes. So right is seven. So I tell it to reverse seven minus four, three plus one. So I tell it to reverse four nodes. In this reverse function, the parameters are head and a count. So this is the same logic that we discussed in the previous video. So we take a pair of nodes and reverse their pointers. And in this temp, we keep a pointer to the next pair. So after this while loop ends, the previous will point to the new head, which is G and temp will point to the next node, which is H. So this reverse function reverses the nodes from D to G and returns two pointers, one to G and one to H. So these pointers are stored in right node and after right node. So right node is at G and after right node is at H. Then I have to check that if before left node is not null, then we need to connect the next of before left node to the right node. So here we're connecting C to G. If it is null, this means this is the first node. So the right node becomes the head. So G will become the head. And after this, we need to connect left node next to after right node. So left node was D. So we need to connect D next to after right node, which is H. And at the end, we return the head. So if we see the output of this program, we can see here the list was A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H and the reverse list is A, B, C, G, F, E, D, H. So this question is also available on lead code as reverse link list 2. So I've pasted the same code here and it is success. If you want to solve this, you can check this problem number 92 reverse link list 2. So that was all for this video. If you have any doubts or suggestions, please leave in the comment section below. If you like my content, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. It really motivates me to make more such content. And until next time, this is Sandeep Thapar, signing off.